thing that he's given us. Now, today, as we, um, as this calling, I'm, I'm, I have the, um, the chore of calling you up higher. Um, and I, there's no reason why we should not have confidence when we gather together with the saints of the Most High God. We are gathering together with the saints of the Most High God. Amen. So anyway, when we come together inside of this, this kind of an environment with this, in, in this assembly, we should expect good things. There, there's good things. God has given his people good things. So when we come together um, as a way of contrast, I thought I would a contrast. Not everybody throughout time has been given to come to this kind of an assembly. All right. In Hebrews 12, 18, we learn about another kind of assembly. It says, for you are not coming to the mount that might be touched and that burned with fire. I mean, imagine these, these brethren, they're, they're, they're around this mountain. God himself is going to come down and put his foot on the mountain. Yeah, well, that would be a great time of blessing, right? Blackness and darkness and tempest and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words, which voice they heard and treated that the word should not be spoken unto them anymore. For they could not endure which was commanded. And if so much as, as a beast touched a mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with the dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. There's a different kind of an environment there. So see, we, when we come together, there's a lot that's gone before us to prepare the way for the assembly of the saints. This, um, this blessing that we are participating in, that we're, that we're a part of, that this, this has been something that has cost dear the lives of other men, the, the, the lives of the apostles, the lives of the saints that have gone before us that have rooted this 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 um this tree into the ground. See, we we be a part of something that has been established. We're not playing. We're not playing guessing games when we come together. This is something that God has made known. It's been established, and so the we're we're coming and we're reasoning on better promises. We have better things, but these things were didn't happen like overnight, and they weren't without a cost. Say so, well, and I only say these things to help us appreciate more fully. What we've been given in Christ Jesus. We've been given great high things. Amen. We've been delivered from working in the environment of the old covenant. Now, you know, I, we, we don't come here today trying to be saved. We don't come here today trying to work out our righteousness because, well, you know, we came. And so, so now, you know, that's it. We're not, we're coming to celebrate the, uh, the, our, our recovery that celebrate the fact that God has taken away our sins when we come together in the assembly we do so to honor God and to glorify him in the midst of the assembly we're, we're honoring God just the very fact that, that he gave us to believe and he brought us he drew us by his Holy Spirit into this assembly See, we're not here by accident God brought us here why because see, there's something that's going to happen while we're here we're going to minister one to another. God's put his gifts in the church. Christ has put the gifts. Why? So that it be edified, to be built up. So as you um, find an opportunity to insert something that God's given you to see, see, this, this will help the whole body. You could say that the things we consider in the assembly are all connected with a, a greater eternal reality. See, as you see things that are far off, not everyone can see afar off. You, you know this. But as you can, and you say and you say it, and you speak it out, you're assisting all of us to be, to be able to glorify God, to be able to see what's, to be able to see and understand God. This is a big thing, brethren. And see, this, this body that we're in, this is a part of something that's greater than ourselves. So he talks a little bit further here in Hebrews about what we have come to. And I thought it would be good. What, what have we come to? Where are we? We've come to this assembly, but there's bigger than that. So we come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn. I know you, you know this, but it's good to remember. We, we're a part of the church that's alive. The church of the firstborn. The, 
the church. Now, what makes you part of the church? Well, it says here, which are written in heaven. Your names are written in heaven. So as we come together, those whose names are written in heaven, those who are the called, the elect of God, those who have something of some substance from God to share with the assembly. Well, see, we should expect good things. The good things are going to happen in the assembly of the saints. Now, I know for myself, and I, I got to figure that if you're walking by faith, you feel the same way, that when you think about, even think about coming into the assembly of the saints, like good thoughts flood your mind. What Amen. The saints are going to help me. They're going to equip me. They're going to, I'm going to be blessed because I was around God's people. We've come to the general, say the church, of, and to Jesus. Let's not forget about Jesus. Jesus, the mediator of the covenant. As he, Jesus is the one that died and, 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 and made peace, made your peace with God. And now he's, he's, Jesus is over the covenant. So the covenant we have with God, we have a mediator in between. That's Christ. He's, he's the mediator of the covenant. Amen. And we well, don't forget this, the blood of sprinkling. I thought I was thinking about that this week. The blood of sprinkling. Now, you, you search back in the old. We don't have, this is just a calling. So, But everything that was during the Day of Atonement, anytime it had to do with the sacrifices, the blood had to be sprinkled. It was as that blood made contact with something that it was sanctified. Now, we've come to Jesus, the mediator of the covenant, and the blood of sprinkling. That's what we've come to. So see, it shouldn't surprise us that while we're here, that, that, that some renewing happens. See, the blood of the sprinkling. We've come to the blood of the sprinkling. We know the life is in the blood. So see, as we, in other words, as we understand more about Christ and God and eternal life and the Holy Spirit, you see, as we, as we move around in this spiritual realm, we, we see clearer. We understand more. In other words, we're able to live more perfectly unto God. Amen. We may, we're able to be a blessing to his people and to God himself and glorify God in the midst of the assembly. We've come. Well, I was thinking about this, this fellowship. We, you know, we're, when we come together, it's, a, it's order that we might share fellowship what God's given us with the rest of the brethren. Well, that's a precious thing. I know some, some days I walk in and, well, it's just, I seem, seems like I'm just as, not as, I, I'm not as alive as I want to be. I'm, I'm dry in a certain area, but being around the saints, you can't be around these saints very long and you'll start getting watered. Yeah. Things will start to live again. Yeah, so the, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm kind of calling myself up along with you that to, to look for opportunities to insert some, some kind of life, something that God's given you that you can assist the whole. And in doing this, um, we'll, we'll be a prophet, we'll be profited, and God will be glorified. So th thank you, brother, um, for coming. You know, you do have to be here in order for that to happen. Um, you know, live stream's great, and there's some things that we can, we can do on live stream but being here is different. Yes. Now, I know everyone, it sounds simple. But see, the live stream is no replacement for the assembly of the saints. Amen. It's not. I mean, we come together, things happen differently when we're together with one another. Anyway, I, I wanted to say that because there will be a temptation to think, well, I'll just stay home and watch the live stream. That you're not going to, I'm not going to, you're not going to be able to say much. You're not going to be able to get a lot of blood sprinkled on you back in your tent, right? You're going to have to be in the general assembly for that to occur. Amen. Anyway, I, I was blessed by those thoughts, and I wanted to bring them to you today. I'm going to open our meeting with a, a word of prayer and ask God to, to bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we come today to you, Father, asking, Father, that as you promised where two or three are gathered together, that you would be there in the midst Father, we, we have gathered in your name asking, Father, that you would, you would um, reveal yourself again today. Father, that you would help us to see more clearly that we would be able to honor you in all things, that everything would be done under edification, and that, Father, that um, we would be able to help one another. In your son's name, amen.